I made a video pretending that I coded Blender for Game Boy, but here's how I actually made it. First thing I have to do is make the Game Boy UI, so I just opened up Blender and started snagging viewport screenshots, some icons, a menu bar, and of course, a animated timeline, which I softly threw together into something, you know, kind of believable. And since this is really just a bunch of nodes, whenever I clicked a button on the good old GB, I could just animate the UI to respond accordingly, and pro tip, what really sells this effect is adding in those tiny details like the icon flickering or the border color changing when you select delete or, you know, maybe <laughs> making the power indicator glow green, which I totally forgot to do, but whatever. We've made some UI to slap on the screen, so, you know, ruin that Game Boy with those tracker markers, pointer track that footage, render out the corner pinned UI, and overlay with something like soft light so we still get those reflections. But wait, those uh, tracker markers, you know, they're, they're, they're still there. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. Uh, let's use those tracks from before to this time get a 3D solve that moves with our screen so that we can extract the area, hide the dots, reproject the footage, bring that into the composite, and voila, believable blender in Game Boy, which I ruined with the stupid 3D effect for some reason. Anyways, for the music, I use this neural network by Code Parade, which creates original royalty-free AI-made music. And finally, all the different sound effects came from freesound.org, and uh, here's the final result. It's my first time writing Game Boy code, so it's probably a bit buggy, but I did get a first version working, so let me try to open this with one arm. Yeah, uh, you can see this is the first demo of the Blender version. I mean, you can navigate there. There's not much you can do there. You can also go to orbit mode. Uh, <laughs> the uh, RAM kind of runs out uh, pretty quickly, but I also was able to implement a select cube, delete cube. Uh, let me bring that back. And uh, there, there, there's also 3D mode, which is, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of useless. I don't use it too much. And uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's really all I was able to implement uh, for this version. Subscribe or your deodorant won't work as well tomorrow.